Yes. In yesterday class, we left a small part that is euchromatin and heterochromatin. We know that inside the nucleus chromosomes are there. Chromosomes contain the DNA molecule. The DNA takes time and appears color body. Hence the name chromosomes. If with time the interface nucleus, some part of the chromatin take more time and appear dark and other part of the chromatin take light stain and appear light in color. Now we shall see euchromatin and heterochromatin. What is euchromatin or define euchromatin? The part of the chromatin which take less time is called euchromatin. This part of the chromatin appear light in color. You means true chromatin. This is true chromatin. Actually, it is transcriptionally active chromatin. Next, heterochromatin. As I told you, some part of the chromatin take more time and appear dark. So this part of the chromatin is called heterochromatin. It is less active. Now we shall differentiate the euchromatin and heterochromatin. So it is for two marks. It is for two marks. Okay. Now, on one side euchromatin and the other side heterochromatin. Euchromatin, first point, take less stay. Heterochromatin take more stay. Euchromatin appear light. Heterochromatin appear dark. Euchromatin, tightly coiled chromatin, sorry, less tightly coiled chromatin. Heterochromatin, more tightly coiled chromatin. Euchromatin is transcriptionally active, whereas the heterochromatin is transcriptionally inactive. Euchromatin replicate early. Heterochromatin replicate late. So these are the differences between heterochromatin and euchromatin. It is for two marks. And also 
very important for one mark the euchromatin and the heterochromatin Now, today, we shall study another new concept, it's most important for main examination and also for CET and NEET. That is the heading, a replication of DNA. We know that the cell contains different types of chemicals like proteins, carbohydrates, lipids or fats, DNA and RNA, etc. So which chemical is able to produce its own copy? means the DNA only can produce another copy. Its protein cannot produce another copy of its own or the carbohydrate cannot produce, even a fat cannot produce its own copy. It's also a very important point. Now, application of DNA. It's also called duplication of DNA. What is replication? An important question for one mark. Define replication. Replication is the process by which DNA produces the exact copies of the DNA molecule. So, it is just like a Xerox copy. You have your original Mars card. With the help of original Mars card, you can Xerox get it a exact copy. Like that. That is, DNA produce another DNA molecule. So it means when exactly the DNA produce another DNA molecule, it's very important, that is the time. The replication of DNA always takes place during interface. Interface means you know, interface consists of G1, S, and G2 periods. It is during S period the synthesis of DNA takes place. Very important for need or CET. So, replication of DNA was first proposed by Watson and a creek. Now, next, semi conservative method of DNA replication. We know that during replication, DNA produces another DNA. How, how it produces means it takes place by semi-conservative method. Semi-conservative method, as you know, semi means half. Conservative means conserved. 
half of the molecule of dna is conserved and other half is newly synthesized so that is what we meant by semi conservative method of dna replication now it is the most common method of dna replication as you already knew it takes place in the nucleus because the dna is present in the nucleus during a replication of dna that is in the s period of cell cycle deoxy ribo nucleic nucleotides are essential for the formation of new strands of dna which are present in the nucleoplasm of the cell now the process how exactly it takes place means at the time of replication of dna two strands of dna separate by certain enzymes later on you will come to know the enzymes each strand act as template template means blue print blue print means it contains information using that information another new thing is formed that is the meaning of template each strand of dna act as a template for the formation of new strand now you may refer a diagram the diagram showing dna replication is semi conservative method refer the old and the new dna strands a new strand is constructed on each old strand by complementary base pairing hence two exactly identical double stranded dna molecules are formed in each new dna molecule one is old strand while the other is a new strand hence it is called semi conservative method the watson and crick described this method of replication of dna as a semi conservative method of dna replication so there are other methods also there proposed by different scientist but they are not included in your syllabus for example dna replication takes place by conservative method it is one type and other type is dispersive method but this is semi conservative method that is dna replication takes place by semi conservative method not by conservative or dispersive method and this is also 
experimentally prove. Okay. Now, next, and another important uh, one, we know that uh, DNA act as genetic material in majority of living organisms and experimentally proved also. And we know that the DNA is the only molecule which can replicate and produce new copy of its. Now, this is the experiment how the semi-conservative nature of DNA takes place. Proved experimentally by Meselson. Meselson and Satal. You may refer the diagram. So there is diagram, very important one, especially the DNA molecule. You study the DNA molecule diagram carefully. So separation of DNA by centrifugation method. So this is Meselson and Sathal experiment. So important for neat examination. You can see the DNA molecule, then first generation DNA, have, it is hybrid DNA, that is one strand is old, other strand is new. Then second generation of DNA molecule, you can see now two DNA are new one and two are hybrid. Hybrid means having one old molecule and the other new molecule. Semi-conservative nature of DNA. Meselson experiment. They grew E. coli on N15. N15 means it is an isotope of nitrogen. E. Ammonium chloride. They grew E. coli bacteria on N15 ammonium chloride culture medium. N15 is the heavy isotope of nitrogen. So both the strands of DNA have N15. These bacteria are shifted to another medium containing N14 ammonium chloride, NH4Cl, that is N14. It is normal nitrogen. Then the DNA extracted subjected to CCM chloride density gradient centrifugation. So they separated the DNA molecule by a method called centrifugation method using CCM chloride. They found hybrid DNA that is one molecule or strand having N15, the other strand having N14. After next generation, equal amount of uh, N14, that is light DNA and hybrid DNA, 
and 15 and 14 are for him. So that's all about uh, the Meselson experiment. Now, the mechanism of DNA replication. It's for five marks and most important question for the examination many times repeated. You know replication, you know all the meaning of replication. Replication is a process in which DNA produces an exact copy or replica of its own. It means during replication DNA produces another DNA. Now, mechanism. Mechanism means how exactly the DNA produces another DNA. That is the mechanism. Coming to the mechanism, as you know, the DNA contains many nucleotides, sugar and uh, phosphate, etc. For the formation of or synthesis of new DNA, many substances are required. Many enzymes are required. Proteins are required. Now the requirements. Substance. Deoxyribonucleotides. Deoxyribonucleotides means Four types of nucleotides of DNA are necessary for the formation of new DNA. They are DAMP, a DGMP, DCMP, DTMP. And energy is also required. The ATP supplies the energy. In addition to these substances, many enzymes are required. The enzymes, DNA helicases, for unwinding of DNA helix. Topoisomerases required. Topoisomerases uh, actually release the twists. Twist. You know, now Hagga Marbekare, just the urine nakidre, open Mardaga, dance Marte. That is the twist. To remove the twist. DNA polymerase is required. DNA polymerase is of three types. DNA polymerase first, DNA polymerase second, and DNA polymerase third. Each one function is different and very important for NEET or CET examination. This DNA polymerase is also called Korenberg's enzyme because he discovered this enzyme. Now, helicase enzyme is necessary. Polymerase first, second and third necessary. Another enzyme, RNA primase. Then another enzyme, DNA ligase. These enzymes are essential for replication. In addition to this, we required, we required the proteins for the stabilizing the DNA molecule. Many proteins also are required. These are the substances. 
Now study the diagram. So diagram is most important. Here you can see two template strands. One in 3 dash, 5 dash direction and another is 5 dash, 3 dash direction. 3 dash, 5 dash direction. So which is a template. So now you can see the leading strand. Leading strand is 5 dash, 3 dash direction. And you can see the DNA polymerase also enzyme. It is noted in a green or bluish green uh, in color. Uh, then DNA decays yellow color. Carefully see. Then in one side there is a continuous DNA synthesis leading strand. In the other strand, short pieces of DNA you can notice called Wakazaki fragments. We call lagging strand. So there is leading strand and lagging strand. The diagram is important for one and a half to two marks. So this is uh, the first one is very important. Practice the first one for the examination purpose. Now, actual process. I told you it is important for five marks. Mechanism of replication always starts always starts at a particular point or specific point. It is called origin of replication or simply we call ORI. So In, this is extra information. In prokaryotes, only one origin replication point is present. But in eukaryotes, many origin replication points or sites present. Now, at the during replication, I told you, the replication always begins at a particular point, that is, origin replication sites. The helicase enzyme act upon the DNA molecule. The hydrogen bond present between two DNA molecules breaks or rupture. So, this is the function of the helicase enzyme. When, when the two I strands ruptures or, or sorry hydrogen bonds ruptures two strands separate at this point and it appears like a fork fork it appears in the form of letter y or else it is just like opening a jeep. You know, when you open a jeep, two strands of jeep separates. Likewise, two DNA strands separate. Some people call this as jipper mechanism. 
when two strands separate it appears like y shape it is called replication fork you, you may refer diagram now each old dna strand act as template for the synthesis of new strand you know template means blueprint using this template new strand is manufactured some proteins also necessary the synthesis of new dna strand an old strand always takes place by an enzyme called dna polymerase third this adds new nucleotides through complementary base pairing ಇದು ಒಂಥರ ಗೋಡೆ ಕಟ್ಟಿದ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಟ್ಗೆ ಇಟ್ಕಂತ ಹೋಗೋದು ಹಾಗೆ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡು ಬೆಳೀತಾ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಯು ರೆಫರ್ ಡಯಾಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಪೊಲಿಮರೇಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾರೆಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸಿಂಥಸೈಸಸ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೀ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫೈವ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದ ಸಿಂಥಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ಲೇಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಎಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಯಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ leading strand no what is leading strand continuous synthesis of dna is called leading strand refer the diagram in another template the synthesis of new strand takes place in 5 dash to 3 dash end is discontinuous it means it produces small pieces of dna called okazaki fragments now what are okazaki fragments synthesis of small pieces of dna called okazaki fragments here synthesis of dna takes place in a discontinuous manner this strand is called lagging strand so there is leading strand and lagging strand leading strand is continuous synthesis of dna the lagging strand is discontinuous synthesis so during the formation of okazaki fragment or the synthesis of dna a small piece of rna is required this rna is synthesized by the rna primase enzyme you know for the synthesis of dna rna primase enzyme is necessary so this synthesizes rna primer dna polymerase third continuous synthesis of okazaki fragment in 5 dash to 3 dash direction at the end of rna primer at the end the rna primer are replaced by deoxyribonucleotides with the help of enzyme dna polymerase or you can say the rna primer are removed by dna polymerase first so this is 
the function of dna polymerase first very important for neat or cet now the wakazaki fragments are small pieces of dna how these pieces join to form lagging strand means the wakazaki fragments are joined together with the help of another enzyme dna ligase dna ligase join two dna molecule hence this enzyme is also called molecular suture you will come to know more during biotechnology chapter dna ligase is also called joining enzyme very important for one more so what is the function of dna polymerase second so now dna polymerase second repairs the new dna molecule so that is any mistakes are there any mistakes are there repaired by dna polymerase second so that solve the synthesis of dna as i already told you important for five marks many questions are there in neat and cet now the central dogma we have already studied the central dogma at the time of at the time we studied the structure of dna that's watson and crick dna now we shall see the central dogma the central dogma states that the genetic information always flows from dna to mrna and from mrna to protein is called central dogma you know nammalli irthakanta characters express aagbekare particular proteins irthave ಉದಾಹರಣೆಗೆ ಐ ಕಲರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಇರ್ತವೆ ಡಿ ಎನ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಜೀನ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಐ ಕಲರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡೋಂಥ ಜೀನು ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ತಯಾರು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎನ್ ಎ ಇದ್ದ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆದಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಐ ಕಲರು ಯಾವುದಿರುತ್ತೋ ಬ್ಲೂನೋ ಬ್ರೌನೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸು ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಡಾಗ್ಮ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಡಾಗ್ಮ ಓಕೆ